How do you finance a flip project? A flip project, quite simply, you're buying a property, doing it up, selling it on in a short period of time. So it's a short term transaction. Because of that, you shouldn't be using a mortgage. Mortgage lenders like to lend over the long term. That is their business model. They don't like short term lending. So it's not worth using mortgages to fund your flips because actually it can create some problems in the future. So if you're looking to buy a property or if you're looking maybe to buy some buy to lets in the future and you've used mortgages, you paid them off over the short term, in some cases you might find lenders don't want to lend to you. It's not really worth the risk. You want to be using bridging finance to fund your flips. If you're using bridging finance, yes, it's more expensive, but it's designed for short term transactions. Specifically, bridging lenders are comfortable with the idea of your exit being a sale, so your exit being a flip. And ultimately, that's something which they, they look for. Yes, it is more expensive, so you've got to factor that into your numbers, but ultimately it's designed for the purpose of something like flipping a project, or you can re renovate it and rent it out depending on your choice. But ultimately, bridging lending is perfect for flips in that case. The other way I fund flip deals and I've funded flip deals over the years is private finance. So individuals who have got money in the bank, not working hard enough for them, you can offer them a return where they'll be getting a lot more money than they would otherwise get with cash in the bank. So it's a win-win scenario. They get money working harder for them. You get your deals funded. that You wouldn't maybe be able to otherwise fund. And that's a win-win scenario. The key thing is if you're doing private finance, that you can reassure your investor that you are mitigating their risk as much as possible because that's probably their biggest concern if they're looking to loan money on a property is how their money is going to be protected so use a loan agreement get a solicitor involved make sure that you've got clearly defined terms between yourself and them so you're protecting their interest as well as your own and of course you're finding a good deal if you don't find a good deal there's no point looking at private finance because the cost of it is going to make it not worthwhile in the first place to actually do a deal. So you need to get damn good at finding great deals to make sure you can finance them in the first place. So to make sure you do a flip, either using cash, bridging finance, private finance, but not a mortgage, because it's not designed for that. Hopefully that's useful. If so, go ahead, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and you'll see me again in the next one very soon.